Hey guys, I'm back with another monthly favorites. Today I am doing my April favorites. I don't have too many products this month, but I have some good ones, so yeah. Let's start with a re-favorite. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I mentioned this in a favorites in the fall, in the end of fall, I think, it, no, in the, be in the end of summer, beginning of fall, I mentioned this is one of my favorites. And I haven't re really used it since then. Besides this month, obviously, because I got a darker shade purposely because it was the end of summer and I was more on the tan side. Recently started to use it again, and I love this foundation so much. I have dry skin, and this doesn't make my skin dry, but it's pretty, it's like medium to full coverage, and your skin just has this natural looking, I don't want to say it's dewy, I don't want to say it's matte, it's kind of like a like a satin finish almost. It just looks so natural and so beautiful. So I love this foundation. One of my all time favorites. If you haven't tried this yet, definitely give this a try. I have another serum, I guess that you would call this, that I've been using. I still love the First Aid Beauty Hydrating Serum, still love it, but I like to use this one also. This is the Josie Marin Milk Pure, Pure Argan Milk Intensive Hydrating Treatment. This is technically a serum. I like to use the hydrating one from First Aid Beauty first, and at night I actually kind of use this as a moisturizer. My old moisturizer I felt like was leaving my face really oily when I woke up, and it was just weird. I didn't like it. But this, my skin, like this actually sinks into my skin, and my skin feels plump and hydrated. I don't have any residue or like oil on my face when I wake up, so I really love this. It's like a white consistency. I actually used it today mixed in with my Too Faced Born This Way and it kind of gave me like a more more dewy look I would say but this is just a really great product. They both are but <laughs> this is a great product and if you have dry skin I would definitely give this a try. The only setting powder I've been using for the past couple months now has been this one from Wet n Wild. This is their contouring palette in the shade Dolce De Leche. These powders remind me of Lorac powders. They're like the same thing. They remind me of the Lorac shadows because they are so insanely creamy and buttery, but the second you put your brush into the product, powder goes everywhere. So it's pretty much the same thing. These are super pigmented. They're super creamy, super buttery. Just powder goes everywhere. So be careful of that. As you can see, that's the, you know, the highlight shade. Blends out really nicely. I think it brightens underneath my eyes. The contour shade I like also. I don't use it as much as this one, but it is a good contour shade. I do like it, and I really have been liking this. Give this a shout out. I think it's, what, $3.99 from the drugstore? Definitely give this a try. This is probably the best contouring palette at the drugstore. So props to Wet n Wild for stepping up their game. My favorite blush of the month. This is a no-brainer. This is Milani's Luminoso. I come back to this blush every spring and summertime. I think this is a great product. It's so freaking pretty. It's a nice peachy pink blush with, you know, some sheen, some sparkle in it. It's super pretty. It's what I have on my cheeks today. I have a staple spring and summer makeup item for me, and it's from the drugstore. So I love this. If you never tried this before, what planet do you live on? Try this. The only eyeshadow palette I've been using this month is the Tartlet in Bloom. This is such a pretty palette. Such a pretty palette. All the shades in here are gorgeous. It's a neutral palette, but you have mattes and you have shimmers. It's just so pretty. You can create so many different looks with this and so many like basic looks and so many like smoky looks. I just think this is a great palette to have. The shadows are really pigmented and they're easy to blend. So. If you wanted to pick this up and were on the fence about it, I definitely think this is a great palette. And look, it's so pretty. I want to give a little shout out to the only single eyeshadows I've been using this month. And, you know, months before. But these are the L'Oreal Infallible um, shadows, I think they're just called. These are such a great... These are probably, like, the best single shadows at the drugstore, hands down. I have um, Ice Latte on my lids right now. It's just a really pretty, you know shimmery goldish white shade oh they are so buttery so that's iced latte again it's on my lids such pretty high pigmentation from these so good and then i've been wearing this one in a 
couple of my recent videos, I wanted to do an eye look on it, and this is the green one. What is this called? Golden Sage. It's so, so pretty. I'm so happy. Oh my god. These are so creamy. Look at that. That's Golden Sage. Such a pretty green. So pretty. And then the last one I have is Amber Rush, which I know so many people talk about this one. This is such a gorgeous color. It's kind of like a rose gold. Oh my god, again, so creamy. And that's Amber Rush. These are just gorgeous, gorgeous shadows. I don't know why I only have three. I need to pick up some more. They are so pretty, buttery, creamy, pigmented. Best shadows at the drugstore by far. And I really want to do a tutorial using the Golden Sage one. The look I've been wearing in a few of my videos. The green look. So yeah, these are gorgeous shadows. Highly recommend them. And I just have one last favorite. And this is the Winged Liner Brush E06 from Sigma. It's such a tiny little... Little, 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 little angle brush. And I've really been liking this lately for shadow on my upper lash line. I like to use the black and the dark brown from the Tartlet and Bloom palette. And I've just been like kind of smudging that on my upper lash line and kind of winning, winging it out. So it's not like as intense as a black wing. And if you're lazy or just suck at wing liner like I do, I just think it's so such a good idea to use shadow instead of the liner. And this brush has been amazing. Love this. Okay, so those are all my April favorites this month. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Dolce de leche. De leche. Leche is milk, isn't it? I just love this blush so much. Mush. Love this blush so much. It's much.